So thoughtful of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I take it out and show y'all the beach. Did you ever I did last time I was down there? Uh, yeah. Uh, Let's see, was it last year? Did it rain? I'd like to call the Little City Board of Education, April 11th, 2024, meeting to order. Roll call, please, Sheila. Mitch Ledbetter. Here. Rick Chadwick. Here. Lacey Murray. Here. Lynn McNish. Here. Chris Clayton. Here. Ask that we stand for a moment of silence. All about the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I have a presentation, Dr. Parker. Yes, board, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Wendy Stooksbury to come up just a moment and explain we have a plaque that our school system has earned and in full recognition of some work that wendy's been doing with our school so i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you talk about it and then let's okay. present it to miss hopeland okay so this is um, a safe stars initiative with the state of tennessee health and vanderbilt sports medicine um, this shows that we are at the highest standards. Yes, you should have them there okay. in front of you. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, that, that brochure. Um, it shows that we have completed lots of work as far as with our staff, our faculty, our grounds, our equipment. Um, it calls for background checks, um, our CPR, AED training and certification, uh, safety checks. So Chris and I have been working on this about a year and a half. Um, we have jumped some hurdles and we have submitted a lot of documents, but um, there's three different levels and we didn't even go for bronze or silver, we went straight to gold. So we have been presented the gold certificate of recognition and so that'll hold us for five years. Um, it is a, a pretty big task, but this is coming out of a coordinated school health. They have, they they are trying to push this initiative. So um, we took it upon ourselves. I had put it in my action plan this year and we made it happen. And so the next thing, you can go to Safe Stars um, website and then you should see us in the next couple of weeks. So we just received this. I wanted Dr. Barker to have one. Um, you have one at your place. 
So, very proud of that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for your work on yes. all of that. I, Wendy has been doing great things at the high school. I mean, she just had Smoothie King in there, and we had the goggles for prom, and that commons was packed. Yes, it was yesterday. I mean, it, it was, was amazing. Yeah. So, it's the prom promise. Uh -huh. prom promise. They are going to drive safely. Yes. yes. And then if you um, took that promise, then, um, of course, the draw was the Smoothie King. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. You know what was it surprising worked. is we had some moral stand-up kids because they wouldn't sign the prom prom. Because <laughs> they knew I am going to be drinking that night. But we tried to talk to them and said, let's try the goggles first. <laughs> you know. But at least they were moral about it. They didn't sign it. So uh, we were proud of that. But we got a slew of them that signed. And uh, I do that with the Prevention Alliance of Wildland and Gummy Cat on us. They're honest. They will not know. They said no. And we said, we, we understand exactly what you're saying. And Can we, I have you know, you just, try to, <laughs> you just try to educate. You drop little lines to them. You know, hey, why don't you try these drug goggles? Try stacking these, you know, these cups up. Well, of course, they couldn't stack a cup. I mean, you know, not with those goggles on. So, uh, but we did that yesterday. And then uh, I did give Holly a, uh, there's, this is what we did. So once they entered yesterday, they can become Billboard famous if they signed and entered, you know, and we're gonna have, there'll be three prom pictures up on the billboard. We have two billboards that we that we have. Uh, and Wendy has made some little bags to help stop with vaping. Yes. And so uh, that, we've had that. three okay. that, okay. that tell good. me that they've stopped and one that comes religiously to my office every Whatever single takes. week to get Whatever those little bags. we got little toothpicks so. in there that are infused. We have rubber bands, we have mints, um, uh, spinner things, whatever we can do to help them, you know. Um, gum. So we have the gum, gum in there. It's called the black, black gum. Yep. So whatever we can do. So we do have those little bags that they go through brandy, and she's trying to circulate those to whoever needs them. And the only other thing I have, and I just want to keep you informed exactly what comes out of coordinated school health and that's where you'll find on this paper and that shows the projects that we work on and have been working on um of course one of our biggest thing is our student health advisory council at the high school i think we have around 35 to 40 in that um but we work on everything from active seating in the classrooms internet safety you'll find a little piece of paper there on that uh substance abuse training opportunities uh, telehealth services here in our schools. We work with McNabb therapy services. We do free health screenings for our kids. We have a dental cell program that comes in. And our latest work was our Handle with Care program. I'm sure you've seen this, this slick little uh, sign that hangs on the door. Um, that's another great initiative. It's, it's, it's a little bit harder, but it, we're kicking it off and hopefully it'll get going. And that's with our Lunar City Police Department. If a kid has had a trauma the night before, whether it be with himself, whether it be with their parent, then there's a QR code handled with care. The police officer scans it, puts the information in of the child. So that next morning, I'll get a, a, um, like an email overnight saying, hey, handle this kid with care. Then I distribute it out to whatever principal, and then they do the arrangement from there on out. Uh, and that's to letting everybody know, even down to the teacher, let's handle this this kid with care today there something happened last night and so it just keeps them informed of but of what's happened so sometimes we don't know and why are they acting so strange well they had a traumatic event in their in their life the night before so anyway that's handle with care and that's me Wendy. <laughs> so thank you wendy these, these are some services that are critical to uh students being safe and healthy and all day and we just appreciate that and so I gave Miss Hoagland the certificate to hang up and it just talks about safety in each sports and so we are a gold level on that so congratulations to everybody thank you yeah, that, yes. that, that was a lot of work I had thank, you. thank you yes. congratulations you guys always do so much for our schools we love you oh thank you Right here, like me, <laughs> Wendy. She's down right here. Oh, she's down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be here. Sheila gets on to me. Now your voice is coming from back here. I don't like it. Anyway, thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate it.
shoots him in the pillow. Let's get you to the pillow. You're like, where's he Are you? You girls finished playing here. I mean, I think the problem problems. Let's move on to item six. I think that would be a good item. Hear a motion we approve agenda. <laughs> have a motion oh, for Mr. Chadwick, second. Oh, second. Second. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Aye. Item seven. Approval <laughs> of the minutes from the March 7th, 2024 board meeting. Here, motion. Approve our minutes. So moved. Motion on Mr. Claybo. No. Mr. Nemish. Yeah. All right. Second. Second. Second Mr. Murray. All in favor say aye. 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 Item number eight, committee reports. Motion we approve the committee reports. Payer bills for the month. Entertain a motion. Motion by Mr. Chadwick. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Claybowl. All in favor say aye. Aye. Item number nine, policy review update. Revision date only. Dr. Barker. Yes, board. You know that there are some board policies that we simply uh, can review, and if there are no changes, we change the date on it. So we had two policies that we did that with and asked that we approve those. Okay. We have policy 5.703, substitute workers, and 5.704, interns. We'll hear a motion. We update you these two the policies. Motion by Mr. Nish. Second. Second by Miss Murray. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. Motion carries. So we'll update on item number 10, new business. Approval of the proposed revisions of part. Let me try this. Approval of the proposed revisions on the following policy. These are the same policies we had the opportunity to look at at the workshop. I know you all read through them, studied up on them, and approved all of them. Any more comments, Dr. Barker, or questions? No. Uh, based on what we talked about at the workshop, uh, this is exactly the list. And so if there, there were no additional changes. So if you approve these, we can approve them as a group. Okay. Motion we approve the following policies. Motion. Motion by Ms. Murray. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Chadwick. All in favor say aye. 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 Number 11, superintendent comments. Dr. Barker. Okay, thank you, board. This is a busy time as we're getting ready to move uh, into our, our testing season. Uh, but one of the things that, and Sheila, if you'll just, I'm going to talk about these just a minute. Oh, okay. The pictures, the pictures that were running when you came in were pictures of our students in our Let's Talk program. Let's Talk is a program for um, uh, birth to three, and this is a program run out of our Family Resource Center. And so th this is a picture of the graduation ceremony. I believe we had six that received their certificate. And this is a program where the parents come with the students and they have some literacy uh, time, they read a book, they do an activity, and this happens throughout the school year. And so these are the students that have graduated from that program. And then we'll go on into um, either a pre-K or some of them will return next year if they're not quite old enough yet. So I just wanted the board to, to see an example of some of the students as they're going through their graduation activities. Okay. While Sheila is bringing up the next item I want to share with you, uh, I want to give a little information. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I shared with you a draft of a video that we were working on for the school district. And after some uh, input from you, uh, we have finalized that. And so today I would like to play for you the final video. In Little City Schools, we are working hard to make sure our children have every opportunity. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a hair stylist. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a marine biologist. It's so important that we provide academic rigor 
but also that social emotional support to build our students' confidence and support their dreams. I've been really amazed with my experience at Lenore City Schools all the way down to the middle school level to get experience with STEM, which will help prepare us for life. Within the iLearn Institute, we provide high quality virtual education that offers flexibility and personalized support. One of the great things about our program here at Lenore City High School is students can find their niche. We've got 15 CGE programs, and one of the things that the programs need is funding to keep these programs in operation so that these high school students can be job ready when they graduate. I've got an internship already with a custom manufacturing place, and I'm very excited to be doing undergraduate research with UT this summer. I would love to either become a hairstylist or an anesthetician. I want to pursue welding as a career. Lenore City has a strong tradition of believing in our students, supporting our students, and we want to continue that investment as we continue to grow and thrive as a school community. I am looking forward to my future here at Lenore City Schools and the opportunities that it will bring with it. Thank you for supporting our school. So we were very excited to work on this project to highlight students from the first and second grade talking about what their hopes and dreams are and then showing parents and community members how they can follow those dreams all the way through graduation. And we've got a place for them here in our school district. So uh, this will be posted on our website within the next week or so. And all of our principals have a copy of that so that as we start talking to parents, community members, and prospective students, we can share this overarching look at our entire district. So thank you, board, for what you do to support all of those activities that you see from elementary to graduation. Anybody else? Comments? Questions? Additional information? <coughs> if you haven't voted, go out and vote Saturday. Getting ready. We, we have gone through 10 days of voting. We've got one more to go. Oh, yes. <laughs> anybody you know, anybody mention them? In fact, I've got a son and daughter that have not voted yet, so we will be going Saturday. <laughs> But I encourage everyone to get out, support. I feel comfortable, I feel good, but you never know, it's an election. We will be working Saturday. We'll have two tents, one tent at the Memorial Building, one tent at Deaton School. And if you have nothing to do on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, you come and spend some time with us. So we encourage you. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, Glenn has some statistics here I'd like for him to share with everybody that shows the importance of, uh, you know, from the previous election that we've done this and to this election, some numbers. This is totally unscientific. Uh, <laughs> in 2018, when we did the sales tax referendum, there were 2,337 voters. Of that total, the early voters consisted of 1,671. This time, the early voters consist of 492. Lower numbers favor us. Um, on election day, um, of the total number of the 2,337 people who voted, 28.5% voted on election day. So if you just carry that forward to this year with the 492 who voted early, if 28.5% of the voters actually do show up on election day, that would be approximately 140 voters, and that would bring the total overall vote in the election to 632. I feel like if, if it's under 600, we've got a real good shot. Once it starts getting over 600, I think it gets kind of bitty. So we're hoping that only 50 or 60 people show up Saturday to vote instead of uh, 140. But anyway, it's just uh, uh, interesting numbers to look at, to compare over a six year period, the difference in that election and the difference in, in this election. 
too scientific for me. <laughs> we just want people to acknowledge our need and uh, understand that it's a small price to pay for so much good that can come from it. I would like to do one more thing before uh, we move on, and that is I would like for Dr. Smallin to stand up. We're very proud of Dr. Smallin. Uh, about a month ago, uh, I got information that Dr. Smallin was elected to the COSIN board. COSIN is the Consortium for School Networking. It is a national uh, and international consortium, and we are very lucky to have one of our own actually sit on the board. Uh, this is a very active committee that works hard to do good things for school technology programs. And so uh, he has just gotten back from his inaugural uh, opportunity to sit on the board. And I just want to say congratulations. And we're proud of you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Anybody else? All right. What? I will add one more thing. <laughs> we also got information yesterday that our CNI team uh, received the highest rating on their planning documents, their monitoring documents that were submitted. It's very rare that you get the State Department returning uh, information to a school district that says, you don't have to do anything. You have done everything exemplary. And so there's nothing else you need to do. And we got that yesterday. And so our CNI team, led by Dr. Smith, we, I just want to say thank you and congratulations. They have all worked very hard. I got one quick. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> no, it's, it's pretty good. Yard. <laughs> Sheila, the plant sales, it next Saturday? 20th. It's the 20th. Next Saturday? Next Saturday. At 7? Uh, let me check times and make sure. Do you have it pulled up? I see. Okay. I know she usually gets there pretty early. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she'll be there by then. Is she doing a pre-sale for? Uh, she usually does a pre-sale on that Friday. Okay. Yes. So Saturday, April twentieth, nine a.m. to three p.m. Oh, yeah. she'll be way before. Yeah, she'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. If you get there at nine o'clock, she'll probably be out. That is, that's a pretty good bet. So if anybody wants to buy any tomato plants, you better get down there early Saturday. Yes. That's all we so got. at the high school, school. <laughs> at the greenhouse. Okay. Entertain motion, we adjourn. Motion. motion Mr. Chadwick, second Mr. Murray. All in favor, aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.